Howdy boyos and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Today on the 3rd of May, they released version 0.15 and that includes the release of a couple of tier 10 vehicles. Um, not alone, this amazing PL-1, but also a new Abrams, a new Challenger, a new Leopard, the T-14, and an upgrade to the Crab, the Sphinx, which is actually a real vehicle, apparently. It looks really awesome and weird and, well, futuristic. Um, but that's not the point of this video today. The point of this video is the PL-01. One of the tanks I looked forward to the most in Armored Warfare. And ever since they introduced the, like, you know, take a look at this tank in the garage kind of ability. Holy shit, that plane just got absolutely fucking wrecked. Ever since they introduced that, like, ability, it's already, like, you can review these tier 10 tanks. Like, you, you can look at the T-14, you can look at the Challenger, I think, you can look at the PL-01. I was like, damn, man, I really want to, like, fucking play that tank now. And that's what I'm doing today. The first game will be me in the PL-01, and the second game will be me in the Leopard 2A7-140. Um, and the, <laughs> the PL-01 is a very interestingly looking tank. The, my first thought when I like heard of this tank, way before I, I played Armored Warfare, this is like probably a year or two ago almost, when I played, like, when, I, when I saw this tank, was a picture, and somebody said, wow, look at these new graphics for the new Command & Conquer game, like obviously like in a joking manner, and it was the PL-01, like on their, like the pictures were like, it's like outside in like a grassy field, it's very well known, I think the pictures are kind of known, and um, I was like, damn man, this looks freaking amazing. So, <laughs> uh, I'm so glad to see that Armored Warfare decided to put the tank in as one of their uh, Late, latest tier or highest tier tanks. At least I'm assuming it's gonna go to tier 10. I don't know. Maybe Armored Warfare go, will go higher. I don't think so though. Um, but like, as I was saying, it just it looked so futuristic, and if you look at it, it just absolutely looks fan freaking tastic. Like there's nothing in this thing that does not remind me of Command and Conquer. The the gun, the way it looks, the way it floats over the battlefield almost. It does have tracks, but. It's so quick. It's a it's it's a light tank in the game, and it definitely has the armor of a lighter tank. But this thing is absolutely fantastic. I am a light tank enthusiast. I'm not a great light tank driver. I do have my games once in a while where I absolutely just destroy and get like four, five, six, seven, eight thousand damage. Uh, but um, usually, I'm you know I'm, I'm a pretty bad player in like these games like like World of Tanks, Armored Warfare. Um, I'm a little bit better at, at War Thunder, but I, that's like a different game. It doesn't have like these HP systems. I ju I'm just bad when games have like actual health points. I'm I just not that great at those games. I don't know why. But it's one of my uh, one of my weak points. Let's ram this guy. Oh, well, I guess you're not gonna die, are you? I'm gonna ram you again. No, well, that doesn't work. I'm waste a shell on you. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, like I'm not that great at these at these games, but sometimes I do have my uh, my fun and I do really damn good. And that's if I do really good, it's usually in a light tank. Why? Because I like flanking and spanking. I love getting up to an enemy, like especially like a heavier one, shooting him in the side, getting like loads of damage, and then backing off and like, kind of like the guerrilla guerrilla warfare, guerrilla, not guerrilla, guerrilla warfare. Um, and they are there. And I don't know, I can't explain why. I just really like that idea in, in these kind of like HP driven games where you can flank enemies, do lots of damage, and back out again, hopefully with no or little return damage. And no, like, you know, you've helped your team, you've done your damage, you've done your job, and uh, back out again. And, you know, go and try and flank the enemy somewhere else. And I can't, I really can't explain why I like it. It's just a way that I do. And the best part about this then is the fact that you can literally dr throw this thing in like forward and it just takes up speed like absolutely insanely much. It, like look at this. 60 kilometers an hour in like rough terrain, 70 kilometers an hour almost. That is absolutely fan fucking fantastic if you ask me. It's just such an enjoyable tank. If you like mobility, this tank is Fan fucking tastic. As a decent gun, as a 125, I believe, uh, 120. Sorry, as a 120 millimeter gun, and it doesn't do too much damage. Uh, I think it does like six. Okay, 684. I was, I was gonna say 650, but it does 684 at the most. Well, that's like you know, like within the RNG, but it does 680, 684. 
Um, it does have an okay pen of 844. At these tiers, it doesn't really man matter. You just need to like look for the weak spots or you know get like a flank on on people. Um, it does have AT gems, which actually are kind of interesting, but I don't like them that much. Um, that you know they can do their thing, like they can do the job. All right, let's use artillery. That somebody took out the secondary objective. Artillery is basically dead already. Crap took him out. And I, I just, it's really like, I feel like I'm playing my childhood games again, like Command and & Conquer, and I'm playing this in third person, and it just feels, it just feels older right. I absolutely adore this tank. Like I said, it's a light tank, that's so good for me. Oh, that, I, I totally aimed for the only spot in the entire tank that I was red, like like a pro. Let's aim again. Load H, load heat, load, load heat. And try and kill him. Well, can't kill him. That won't be able to do it. We can do some damage on that uh, inmate with the heat. And fire again. He actually damages back. That's fine. Just sit here and trade shells for a little bit as we're just getting damage off of him. That's just. Yeah, there, he's, there he goes. Let's load a uh, missile. There's a BMP here. Oh, BMP. I guess he's dead now. I want to use that against him then. Uh, I should probably just start and capture so we start to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Could I? He's, he's, you know, he's gonna have ERA or AP. Yeah, I figured he's gonna have APS, but that's fine. I, I figured it was gonna happen, but I still wanted to try it. Guess I should probably go down there. And get, nah, I'll actually, I should probably watch out what I'm doing here because I'm all by myself. All by myself. Well, let's, let's, let's get the fuck out of here and not die. Um, yeah, it's it's like I'm playing the third person mode in like a Command and Conquer. I feel like I'm playing. What is that? What was that game called again? Renegade. Ugh, almost, damn it. I think it was called Renegade, which was uh, basically a third person slash first person shooter for Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun, which was a really interesting thing. And I'm, I was really sad when they uh, dis when I heard uh, heard it was like only going to be like one single game in that style. And if you guys have never seen it, it's a really damn awesome thing. And it's a shame that. They never like made another one in like the modern times. It was a it was a damn cool game. Like harvester, you need to like protect your harvester, which is like AI controlled. Would you like go and get resources? And it was a, it was I don't know. It would, if you've never heard of it, you should definitely take a look at uh, Command and Conquer Renegade. Damn damn cool game. Anyway, with that being said, um, it kind of like it just reminds me of playing that game. Quick tank. Looks like it's floating because you can barely see the tracks, and it's just oh my god! I love it's so fast. Look at this! Oh, I love it! Like seven, fucking 65 kilometers an hour again. You can just ram this thing full freaking gas through a town, and oh, I love it. You actually have some armor to speak of. Like I said, it's not like totally unarmed at all, or unarmored at all. But you know, it's still a light tank, so you're gonna have. Um, you know, there's obviously, ben obviously no benefits and downsides of being a light tank, line. but I, I really enjoyed the PLO one. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think of it. Have you ever heard of Renegade? Maybe. Let me know in the comment section. Like, drop a like if you like it, and the next game will be the Leopard 2A7-140. See you in a second. Alrighty, welcome to the other tank I wanted to take a look at in today's video. The Leopard 2A7-140. Um, the 140, I think, stands for the barrel or the gun you can get on this tank, which it starts with a 120, and you can upgrade it to have a 140 on here, which you can see I have 140 millimeter and then the shell type, obviously. But it's a 140 millimeter gun. Um, this is a fully upgraded Leopard 2A7-140. I'm going to just call it, I guess, the Leopard 2A7 from now on. Um, it is starting to show... I mean, obviously, it's like, you know, it's a prototype tank, and I don't really think I've ever seen a tank that looks a lot like this, IRL or in pictures or anything. Uh, but it's starting to become more and more apparent that the Germans and the Americans like working together. If you look at the uh, Abrams, the XM, I forgot the name of the one in the in game, sorry. It, literally, it's like XM something. It's like basically like an American tank prototype of the like next Abrams. The Abrams, basically like the M1A3, but like even better than that. Um, and it's starting to show that there's no like real huge difference anymore between the Abrams and the, the um, 
the Leopards. Now, of course, you know, I don't say like they're literally like the same tanks, because they're not, they're obviously not. But if you look at the Leopard 1, and you look at goddamn artillery, Jesus Christ. If you look at the Leopard 1, and you look at the um, Abrams, you know, the very first XM, they're nothing alike. But the more, the more you go in the future, which I guess is what Armored Warfare is doing with like, you know, this prototype here of the Leopard and the new Abrams prototype, the XM, whatever the name is. Um, it definitely shows to me that they're, you know, they're, they're, um, because they have been working together. For example, the MBT-70, which is in the game and um, isn't, wasn't like ever made, I think, but it, it was basically a German-American prototype. And I know that the uh, Americans used the Rheinmetall uh, am, uh, barrels. They used the Rheinmetall guns from the Germans. I think the 105 on the Abrams, or the 120 on the M1A2. I can't remember which one. One of them is definitely made by a German company, uh, which, you know, comes from that, uh, them working together uh, on the MBT-70, or at least that, like, idea. But like I was saying, like, you can clearly see that this tank, um, fully upgraded with, like, ERA armor on it, which looks very futuristic, which I actually kind of like. Um, I don't know, like, you can, I could see this being an Abrams, kind of. Uh, not from the front, because the angle thing is kind of weird, but from the side, I really could see this like as an Abrams. Um, maybe like a little bit of like a retarded one, but still, it's still an Abrams. Hang on, let's get a shot on this guy so we get some- Oh no, no, you're stealing my kill! On. There we go, I'll take some damage. Um, uh, other, other than that, this tank also looks really futuristic. Not as futuristic as the pl one obviously, which uh, you just saw, but God damn, does this tank look amazing. I, I really feel like when I'm driving the PL-01, like I'm playing a third person Command and Conquer game, like um, Tiberium War, I don't know like which number specifically, but like any of the Tiberium War games. Uh, and I kind of have that idea when I'm driving this tank, at least it looks like it with like the fully upgraded ERA armor on it. It looks damn near impressive with like the weird like holes in the back probably for ventilation or something. I have no clue what those holes are for, but the PLO one has them as well. Um, I'm not sure, maybe that's like to bounce radar. No, that sounds weird, because then it will be all over the tank. I, I honestly have no clue why they're there, but just the, the tank design is so futuristic, and the same goes, oh, that's actually the tank, the XM1A3. That's the, This is the Abrams, like tier 10, the prototype of the uh, Abrams that's in Armored Warfare. Let's actually get some more points on these guys. There we go. And um, now, I, like, I was saying they're not the exact same tanks at all, obviously, but I can definitely see the similarities between them. And I feel like with every, like, addition of an Abrams or a Leopard, or, you know, in this case, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not called an Abrams, it's called the XM1A3, but we all know it's literally like an Abrams. Um, I feel like in every version, like that comes after the previous one, they're starting to look a little bit more alike, which isn't a bad thing because obviously, you know, they both have some pretty good design strengths and it's never a bad thing if allies, you know, use, use each other's work to make, you know, themselves stronger in, in warfare. Let's see if we can can I get a shot in this guy. Oh, there we go, we got a kill. Um, oh, that's a lot of shit. All right, let's get some more points. Oh, that was a bounce, that was stupid. Should have aimed at that there. Uh, let's hit this guy's lower plate. There you go. I do like these tanks a lot. Uh, like I said, it reminds me a lot of like playing third person. Um, oh, there you go. Oh, this is it's a Chinese Type 98. Uh, they remind me a lot of playing Command and Conquer, which as a kid I played way too much of. and. I was probably addicted to for a while because I just had, you know, it, it got to a point where my dad and I would like literally play like every day. I don't know, that's like hashtag, hashtags like kid goals. If I ever have a kid that really want to play like games with them all day, to a degree obviously, but um, hang on, I'm trying to concentrate on killing this tank. Um, but like I was saying, like they do look a lot alike and I don't think that's a bad thing. It's just to me becoming pretty apparent the more and more you know they are they're like advancing in in models and everything the more and more they start looking alike um and especially with the the, the hull the turret even that much because the turret obviously is like you know is a very special design for the germans anyway i always really like the like angular turret uh, on the later leopards and i must say i am actually a giant fan of the leopard as it is like in like the leopard one like the the, the, the very first MBTs, they 
I can't explain what it is, but they just look so good. Maybe it's the heritage of the Tigers. Maybe it's the heritage of, you know, Germany and tank design and everything. But there's something about those tanks that just screams to me like, wow, love me. I am beautiful. I don't know. It's It might be a weird thing to say, but I really think they're good looking tanks. Oh, that's a nice shot on that. There we go. More tunks made to shoot at. Maybe I'll breach 20,000 damage this game. Who knows? That's an Arieti. It's fired the lower plate right there. Yeah, did a pen. It was orange, so it was uh, obviously kind of going to be like 50-50. It's going to pin. Let's try that again. Oh, no. I guess. Oh, I, I, oh, it was green. I thought I was. I thought I saw a side, but I didn't. Oh, there's a couple tanks on my side, actually, right now. Pop a shot into that guy. I am. I just want damage. It's PvE. Like, you want damage, right? Oh, this is going to be... Come on. No, 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 no. Stay. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. We're going to push up. And shoot him in the butt, where he has no ERA. He's gonna tr try and go back, he's dead. And we have more, oh, another, an M1A2 up there. Oh, thanks for the flank, 20,000 damage, 21, almost already. Let's see how much we can get out of this, honestly. That, that's probably my record so far. There's probably people with like way more than that, but you know, my record is like 17 or 16, I think. Oh, Thunderbolt, and it's Easy damage, easy life. And the Thunderbolt. I really like light tanks. That's why I like the PL01 so much. I guess I'll just call it the PL or the PL1 or whatever. I just really like the PL01. Uh, I like light tanks. I like quick maneuverable tanks. And that's basically everything that PLO is. PLO1 is. Oh, Alright, there we go. Well, we won. That was the um, Leopard. Oh, wait. Did we... Okay, we did win. Alright, well, that was the Leopard 2A7-140. Uh, which I do really think starts to look more and more like an Abrams. Or you could say the Abrams start looking more and more like a leopard. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to stay awesome. And I'd love to see you in the next one. Cheers.